Prologue January 2018 D.I. Jimmy Stewart, retired, stood by the side of the Fingless Road, his umbrella one amongst many. The crowd was two to three people deep on both sides, as far as the eye could see. The rain had been coming down steadily all morning. Small patches of snow lay about the place, fading to nothing, a memory of another world. One that had been covered in white and full of the joys of Christmas. Not that he had particularly enjoyed Christmas. Behind him, in Glasnevin Cemetery, a snowman leaned sadly, shrinking to nothing. Stuart had been unable to get into the church. In hindsight, maybe they should have put a PA system outside, but nobody had known how big an event this would be. It wasn't a state funeral or a celebrity, after all. It was just an ordinary man. No. That wasn't right. It was a lot of things, but you probably couldn't hang ordinary on him. You wouldn't have said he was popular, as such, though everyone certainly knew who he was. He lived in that space between legend, cautionary tale, and bogeyman. A man out of time. A man in possession of his own moral code, one that put him out of step with the world around him. He had also been a world-class pain in the arse, which shouldn't be forgotten. He hadn't been a member of Angarda Shia for a couple of years now, having retired not long after Stuart, so the top brass were spared from putting in an appearance. Stuart had rung Wilson, his former protégé from his time in the National Bureau of Criminal Investigation, to see if he wanted to come, but unusually there'd been no answer. Since Stuart's retirement, he and Wilson had become good friends, though neither of them dared call it that. Wilson would come around for regular chats, and Stuart would give him the benefit of his forty years of law enforcement experience. God, he missed the job. More than anything, although he would be loath to admit it, he missed the people. In that regard, today had been a trip down memory lane. As he'd walked along the road, he'd seen a lot of familiar faces. The rank and file had turned out in great numbers, because they remembered this man for exactly the reasons that the top brass wanted to forget him. Everybody had a story. Not that it was mainly Gardy. The numbers from the force were dwarfed by the ordinary people. There were other faces Stuart recognized amongst the crowd. The Dublin criminal fraternity had come to pay their respects, too. Stuart had passed a couple of faces he was sure had spent several years up in Mountjoy Prison thanks to the man's efforts. Still, they looked solemn. Not a hint of a smirk to be seen. The parade came around the corner. For that is what it surely was. It wasn't official. But somebody somewhere must have been watching or one of those who were there in an unofficial capacity had made a call. Uniforms had hurriedly closed off the road. The parade was coming regardless, and the sheer weight of numbers meant it wouldn't be stopped. Like the man himself, an unstoppable force. Behind the hearse, they came in red line after red line, some of them wearing the jerseys of St. Jude's hurling team most of them older, just wearing whatever red they had. The current team, then the ones past. They seemed to be walking in rough age groups. Someone might have suggested it, or maybe it had just happened. Those who had played together standing side by side as they followed him one last time. As the hearse passed him, Stuart lowered his head. He wasn't a religious man, but still, respect was respect, and this man had truly earned it. Alongside the coffin, which was draped in a jersey with a hurley lying across it, a massive wreath of flowers spelt out his name. Bonnie.